Okay, let's talk about remote server admin tools. Remote server admin tools are basically the administrative tools that are integrated in Windows Server. You install a role, you include the management tool for it. Now, the remote server admin tools, though, are available for Windows clients, and they allow us to remotely admin our servers. Now, a few reasons for this. Number one, we might be dealing with a server that's in a secured room, and so we don't want to have to go through the hassle of getting up and going over to that room every time we need to make changes to the server. Uh, number two, it might be a server at a remote site, which would require us to actually, you know, leave the office and go to the remote site to deal with the server, and doing that on a regular basis is problematic. Number three is it might be a server that doesn't have a GUI installed. It might just be a standard or core install, in which case we wouldn't have GUI tools to use for it anyway. Now, you can do a couple of other things. You can use PowerShell remoting, which works great if what you're going to do is in PowerShell. Uh, you can use remote desktop, which is great. You can enable remote desktop sharing on a server, and you can connect the server via remote desktop, and then you just have access to everything. Uh, some people worry about the security risks of that. So that's something to keep in mind. Another issue is that that really limits the number of administrators who can do that on a server at any given moment. So sometimes the best management tools are ones that we can install locally, and that's what RSAT is about. So at our local workstation, we install the remote server admin tools, and then we use those remote server admin tools to remotely admin the system. So let me walk you through this. I've already installed one of these recently, but I'm going to walk you through the process of installing other uh, remote server admin tools too. Now, in uh, current versions of Windows 10 and in Windows 11, they show up as optional features. So I just came down to my search and I did a search for optional features, and that brings me here system optional features. And from here, I can add, right here, add an optional feature and click on View Features. Now, you have to be connected in order uh, to the internet in order for this to work. The remote server admin tools are not preloaded on your system, just waiting to be activated. They are actually something we need to download from the internet. So we have 59 different remote or uh, optional features. I want to filter this down to just my remote server admin tools. So I'm going to type RSAT. And all of our remote server admin tools start out with that RSAT colon, and then it tells me what they are. So I have DHCP server tools, DNS server tools, uh, network controller management, remote desktop services, remote access management, um, Windows server update services. So what I do, what you do is you go through and you find the remote server admin tools that you want. And in this case, I'm going to load some, uh, let's do a DNS server tools. And I can click my little drop down here and it'll tell me what it does. Uh, it includes a DNS manager snap in, uh, the DNS CMD command line tool, and the Windows PowerShell module. So I click next, and that's going to click add, and that's going to start adding my RSAT DNS tools. Now, these tools always take longer to load than I think they should, but it does have to download and install them, but it will take it a little while. So since I already have these available, the uh, Active Directory tools, let me show you how those work. So I'm going to click on my start, and I can do a search for... Active Directory, and let me look at just my apps, and here's everything it finds for me. Active Directory Users and Computers, the Administrative Center, Domains and Trust, Sites and Services, and the Active Directory module for PowerShell. If you don't want to search for it, you want to navigate to it, you can go to your apps, all apps, and it's going to be down under uh, Windows Tools. So I click on Windows Tools, move this over to the right monitor, and here are a bunch of Windows administrative tools, including now the ADAC, PowerShell Module, Domains and Trust, Sites and Services, Active Directory, Users and Computers, and ADSI Edit. So I'm on a workstation, and I'm going to click on Active Directory, Users and Computers. I am not a domain admin, 
double click on it to open it. I am not a domain admin, so we're going to have very limited options, but I am on a domain joined computer. So it connects me to my Active Directory users and computers for the yvcc.local domain. And then I can start working with my domain using Active Directory users and computers or any of the other Active Directory tools. So very cool. Now it's going to limit me as I'm doing this obviously because I'm not a domain admin. Now other tools, you're actually gonna, and I would show you here with DNS tools, but it hasn't loaded yet. Um, so other tools, you'll open it up and you'll actually have to connect to a server. So an Active Directory won't do that, so I can't show you how it works. But for the DNS tools, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to pause the video for a minute. I'm going to let DNS finish installing. Then I'm going to open the tool because I want you to see how you can use these tools to connect to remote servers. Okay, like I said, these tend to take longer to install than I think they should. But hey, we finally did get the DNS server tools added. So I'm going to come here and I'm just going to search for DNS. Give me my apps. There's my DNS. If I don't give me my apps, it's still one of the ones that uh, pop up. So I'm going to open up DNS and I'm going to bring this over so I can look at DNS on this computer or the following computer and then I can choose to specify to it now or connect to it now. So I'm going to say, yeah, go ahead and do this computer and it can't find it. Yes, I want to add it anyway bring it back over. Okay, so here I am. And ideally, I would have put in the name of the server that I wanted to connect to, and that's what I would have. But if I want to add another server, I can right click and connect to DNS server. And then I can say, hey, give me the following computer and I can put in its name or uh, IP address. And then it's going to pop up in my list of servers right here. Okay, so for Active Directory, you connect to it or you open it up it's going to connect you to Active Directory. For some of these other tools, that's how you're going to have to connect to your servers remotely. But the point is, using RSAT, I can now manage my servers remotely from my workstation after I install these tools, which makes it very, very convenient for sysadmins to be able to use these tools on their local workstations to manage their servers.